Good evening, boys and girls. Tonight's lesson is lesson 10.5. Our lesson is called Line Symmetry. And our essential question is how can you check if a shape has line symmetry? Will you please write this down in your notes for your essential question? How can you check if a shape has line symmetry? Well, first we have to know what line symmetry is. Here's a definition. A shape has line symmetry if it can be folded about a line so that its two parts match exactly. A fold line, also known as a line of symmetry, divides a shape into two congruent parts. Remember, congruent means same size, same shape. You can find symmetry in nature and in shapes all around you. I challenge you, whenever you're walking around school or at home, look around you and see exactly which shapes around you actually has line symmetry. Now, if you were to take a trip out to Hollywood, California, and you would look up on the hill, there's a sign that looks like this, and it says Hollywood. Now, I would just want you to pause the video and look at the different letters, and I want you to tell me if you think that these letters have line symmetry which means if you divide the shape in half and fold it on a line, would, this, would it match up congruently? And would both sides be exactly the same size and the same shape? So go ahead and pause the video and just write down the letters that you think have line symmetry. Now I want you to look at these four different examples. Example one, two, three, and four. And I want you to see if these shapes have line symmetry. That means that if I were to fold this shape on this dotted line, which we'll call our fold line, and if I would fold it on that line, would it match up exactly? I want you to write yes or no. So go ahead and pause the video. Now remember, you're only looking at the line that's dotted. Okay, for number one, you should have written no. Now a lot of people get tricked with a rectangle and they assume, but I know it has to have a line of symmetry because if I would fold it directly down the middle, it would match up. Well, it would if you would fold it directly down the middle vertically, then both halves would be congruent. Or if you were to fold it horizontally down the middle, both halves would be congruent as well. However, if you fold the rectangle on a dotted line, it would not match up perfectly because my line segments are not the same length. Notice how my horizontal line up top is not the same length as my vertical line going down the side. Now if it was a square, it would work but not on a rectangle. And if you still don't agree with me, go ahead and take a piece of notebook paper and fold it diagonally down, this, down the diagonal of the paper and you will see that it will not match up congruently. Now let's look at number two in this example. Does this appear to be a line of symmetry down the middle? If you said yes, you were right. That is a line of symmetry. There actually is another one as well going down um, across horizontally. That also would appear to be a line of symmetry as well. But if you look closely, the dotted line that they have is in fact a line of symmetry. Now number three, is that an example of line symmetry? Absolutely yes. In fact, everybody's face has a line of symmetry. If you look in the mirror, look closely directly in the mirror, and if you look at your nose as the center point, and if you look from your forehead straight down to your chin, both halves are congruent. And now let's look at number four. Does this appear to be a line of symmetry? If you were said no, you were right. The one that they've drawn for you is not a line of symmetry. Now. Is that a shape that does have line symmetry? It actually does. This type of triangle is an acute triangle. It does have line symmetry. Both halves are congruent that way. However, the line that they've drawn for me appears to be no. So you should have said for number one, no. Number two, yes. Number three, yes. Number four, no. 
Now I want you to answer this question. Look at this letter M. Which best describes the line of symmetry in this letter M? Could it be A, a horizontal line of symmetry? B, a vertical line of symmetry? 3, would it be a diagonal line of symmetry? Or D, rotational symmetry? Now we have not taught you rotational symmetry yet. We will be learning that eventually in a few weeks. Now, if you said that the line of symmetry for the letter M was B, vertical, you are correct. And I'm going to show you why. Because if you were to draw a vertical line directly up the center, I could fold this letter M on top of itself and both halves would match up congruently. Therefore, this has a vertical line of symmetry. So here's a question for you, sense or nonsense? Jeff says that the shape here shown has only two lines of symmetry. Does his statement make sense? Yes or no, and explain. Just look closely. Does that shape has two, have two lines of symmetry, less or more? Does he make sense or is it nonsense? Go ahead and pause the video and write your response. Now, if you said nonsense, you were right. How many lines of symmetry does this have? You should have said that this has only one line of symmetry. I don't know what he was thinking. However, I see a line of symmetry vertically. I'm going to erase that right now. I'm wondering if he was thinking horizontally from this vertice to that vertice. That does not appear correct because if you would fold that top uh, acute triangle down on top of the acute triangle on the bottom half, that actually does not match up congruently. Also, if he was thinking diagonally, they would not match up at all. Okay, so, and if you would do it the other way, I'm just going to draw another example this way, that too would not match up. So, Definitely, his answer is nonsense. There is only one line of symmetry, and I would find it to be from the top vertice directly down to the bottom vertice, and it's a vertical line of symmetry. So look closely at this question. Which shape has a correctly drawn line of symmetry? Does A, B, C, or D make the most sense? Go ahead and pick your choice. I'll give you about five seconds. All right, you should have said letter C has a correctly drawn line of symmetry because I would fold the top half down on top of the bottom half. They do both appear to be congruent to one another. A, B, and D do not appear to be congruent to one another on both halves. So here are your homework questions for tonight. There are two examples. The first one says, how many lines of symmetry does this pentagon shown at the right have? So look at this pentagon right here. How many lines of symmetry does it appear to have? So look very closely to it. And then the bottom one, there are four different pictures I want you to look at. And I want you to tell how many lines of symmetry does a shape appear to have? Write zero if it has none. Write 1 if it appears to only have one line of symmetry, or more than one if it appears to have more than one line of symmetry. After you are finished with your homework questions, don't forget to assess yourself in the bottom corner of your notes. Put down 1, 2, 3, or 4 according to the level that you feel that you are best. Again, if you're not sure about how to do this, uh, or if you're not sure about um, symmetry and line symmetry, you are more than welcome to go back and rewatch this video again. So here are your homework questions for tonight. Go ahead and look them over carefully and work on each answer. Bring your packet tomorrow and we're going to check them together, whole group in class, and then we're going to be practicing a lot of fun activities to practice line symmetry. So I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night.